update three on hurricane ian which made landfall um earlier in the day in florida as a category four hurricane somewhere between 100, 100 um to 55 mile per hour um some people thinking it's a category five but we'll find out in post analysis and um i'll analyze the storm myself too but as of right now, it has winds of 90 mile per hour and a pressure of 970 millibars. Hurricane warnings are in effect as of 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, September 28, 2022. Currently 27.2 degrees north, 81.7 degrees west. And this hurricane could expect it to still go out of sea as a tropical storm and make landfall in South Carolina, possibly delivering significant amount of rainfall. Looking at the forecast for Ian, you can see it going out um, into the back in the Atlantic Ocean and somewhere making landfall as a tropical storm. Remember, intensity is not showcased somewhere as a tropical storm. So, um, yeah, just look at that one more time. It's going to go back out in the Atlantic and maybe make landfall somewhere in between Savannah and Charleston, somewhere around the area in South Carolina. Um... Looking at the next um, thing, you can see it's currently 68 miles away from Cape Coral, 197, 08, 197 miles away from Jacksonville, 73 miles away from Orlando, and 450 miles away from Columbia. And all these places are currently um, in Florida except um, for Columbia, which is in South Carolina. And um, yeah, all these places are currently under hurricane warning except Jacksonville which is under a tropical storm warning but um same difference same impact looking at the sea surface temperatures for ian this is a uh, temperatures it's over at right now well it's not even over it's over land but the temperatures it's going to go over um you can see that um it's still going to be sea surface the sea surface temperatures are still going to be warm but there may be wind shear there um might intensify a bit more before making landfall um depending on the winter but probably um the chances are marginal here's the um gfs or not the gfs the satellite imagery um the floater imagery for e and you can see the storm is kind of dissipated its eye but you could see the bands most of the bands are in f like northern florida um which seems to be getting a bunch of rainfall right now. So, um, yeah, the south seems to be um, clear and where the storm made landfall earlier, but there are still rainfall being dumped from this storm, possible thunderstorms. And this is how it looks like in, um, I believe, this is the water vapor imagery. This is how Ian has been looking. You can see it has a bit of convection from the bands there, um, extending from... Cuba, it's little convections, and um, just north of the, or northeast of the storm, um, you could see the bands over there or the convection. Here's what the models are saying, which is um, a model has it doing a loop back down in Florida, but most of the models are gonna say landfall somewhere in South Carolina. So um, yeah. So that's it for this update. If you guys enjoyed it, comment, like, and subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.